Hey, welcome back. We're at Malachi chapter 1. We're going to look at verses 12 through 14 this morning, and we're going through verse by verse, line by line, and a little bit of something to start our day with each day, looking for some insight and things we can apply to our life. Starting at verse 12, but you profane it in that you say the table of the Lord is defiled and its food is contemptible. You also say, oh, what a weariness, and you sneer at it, says the Lord of hosts. And you bring the stolen, the lame, and the sick. Thus you bring an offering. Should I accept this from your hand, says the Lord? But cursed be the deceiver who has in his flock a male and takes a vow, but sacrifices to the Lord what is blemished. For I am a great king, says the Lord of hosts, and my name is to be feared among the nations. So now there's a lot here we, that's similar to what we've had the last couple of mornings. God is talking to his people about their offerings, and their offerings have been the lame, the maimed, the, the deformed. And God says, no, you have to follow the counsel I've given you back in the book of Leviticus. You need to offer animals that are non-deformed. It's because of what it represents, you see. The, the, the Animals that are sacrificed represent, in various aspects, they represent Jesus, the ultimate and perfect sacrifice that, that dies for you and me. So, of course, the offering has to be undefiled. It can't be deformed. It's got to be an offering that's acceptable to God. Jesus lived a life without ever choosing to sin. Jesus, and he was God himself, also come in human flesh. So Jesus' sacrifice was acceptable to God. But he says, you profane the table of God. How do you do it? You profane the altar of God by offering this stuff that's contemptible. You're offering these defective sacrifices. And then it says in verse 13, we read, oh, what a weariness. You sneer at it. These priests are serving God. They're just kind of going and filling it out. They're being superficial. They're just doing, kind of dragging around, doing what they have to do. Their heart's not in it. They're sneering. They're, they're, they're not... They're not following God's commands. They're not calling the people up higher. They're just so far out of his purpose, so unnecessarily. God has given them a very special role, and they are denying that role. So he says, this is not the way to serve. And then we come back again to this same idea. I am a great king. My name is to be feared among the nations. And so, again, when people see what God does for you and I as Christians, applying the text, when, we, when people see what he's doing for us, they should say, praise be to God, glory be to God, because look what he's doing. Look what he's done with, with these people. That's what it should be. It shouldn't be, oh, another batch of hypocrites. Planet Earth needed a few more hypocrites in the midst. That shouldn't be the way it should be. But God's name will be good. How is anybody going to know what God is like when God works through his people? If we're his people, he's working through his people. If our life isn't there, how are people going to understand what God is like. So we are representatives of Jesus. We are representatives of the King of Heaven, and our life should be right, and we should certainly not do anything in a sneering or superficial or a cheap spiritual way, but we should always be coming up higher and higher toward the kingdom. Let's pray. Dear Father in Heaven, as we look at your counsel to your servant Malachi, or through your servant Malachi to us, we are called to come up higher. We are called to take spiritual things more seriously. We're called to give a witness that will draw toward your kingdom rather than a witness that would repel away from Jesus. Please, Lord, use us in this way. Give us wisdom because we're in weird times, hard times to negotiate. It's easy to get something wrong and somebody gets all confused and unhappy. Help us, Lord, so that at least we won't offend. Be our helper, and we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And I believe, friend, God can help you and I to speak a word that is a word in season, a word that's proper, that's, that's right for that time, that experience, that moment, that won't necessarily offend. But sometimes we will say things that people will be unhappy about, no matter how we say them. So we just need to be led by God's Spirit so that whatever we're saying will be proper for that situation. Well, God can be our guide, and he will be our guide, and may he be with you through the rest of this day. God be with you.